Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about pointers in C. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without any further delay, let's begin. This session will help you to understand what pointers in C is. Next, pointer declaration. Later, let's understand the pointer to an array and followed by a pointer to function and finally a pointer to pointer. Now, let's get started with what a pointer in C is. A pointer is a variable that holds the address of another variable to be executed, which can be of data type int, char, array, etc. Pointers are used so that we can easily access the memory location and it reduces the storage space. Pointers also help us to increase the speed of a program's execution. Let's look at the example. int asterisk p, where p is a pointer variable holding address of another variable of type integer. Similarly, a pointer variable can hold the address of a variable type char, float, array, etc. Now let's look at the pointer declaration. We have data type followed by asterisk symbol and name of a pointer variable. To assign a variable to a pointer, we use ampersand symbol. So for example, let's declare a variable of type int. After that, let's declare a pointer variable that is p. And then a variable y is assigned to a pointer variable p. So this means that a pointer is holding the address of a variable type int. Now let's look at the diagram and understand how pointers work in C language. So basically, when we declare a variable, memory is allocated and the value of a variable is stored in that memory at some address. So in this example, let's consider the address to be 2000. Similarly, when a pointer is declared, memory space is allocated at address 1000 and the value stored in that memory is the address of a variable y. Now let's execute a program using pointers. So in this particular program, we have assigned a variable y to a pointer variable p. So now p is holding the address of y and we are trying to print the address of pointer variable p and the address of a variable y. Let's run it. As you can see the output, the pointer variable p holding the address of a variable y is similar to the address of a variable y holding a value 5. Alright. Up next, we have a C pointer to an array. An array is a collection of homogeneous elements having same name and type. C uses a pointer to an array to reduce the memory space of the program code. In a pointer to an array, the address of the first element of an array is assigned to the pointer variable. Let's consider the below example, where we have declared and initialized the array of elements and then the first element of an array is assigned to the pointer variable P. Once the base address is assigned, the other elements of an array can be easily accessible. Suppose the array elements are 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 and they are stored adjacent in the memory. Then the memory space is allocated to the point of variable at some address and it holds the address of the first element. Then by incrementing the pointer variable by 1, the address of the next element of an array will be stored in the pointer P. Considering the below example, so once the pointer is incremented by 1, the address 1001 will be stored in the pointer P. Now let's look at the example program using a pointer to array. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. As you can see from this program, we will fetch the address of an array element. So for that, we have assigned a variable y to the pointer p and with the help of for loop, we can access the address of the next element by incrementing the pointer variable p. So now let's run the program and look at the output. As you can see, we got the address of all the elements in the array. Now that we know pointer to array in C language, let's move ahead and understand pointer to function in C. 
As we all know, the function is a set of statements that perform a certain task to generate an output. Syntax to declare a pointer to a function is return type, pointer variable followed by list of arguments. To understand a little more about pointers to function, let's run a program. So in this particular program, we have a print function in which we are performing addition operation. And we are trying to get the address of a function by assigning the function name to the pointer variable. So this pointer to a function must accept two integer. Basically, it's holding the address of a function print. Now let's run it. So successfully, we got an output using a pointer to a function. We got the value of a and b is 5 and 3. So the sum is 8. And the pointer variable p holding address of a function is 4, 1, 9, and 7, 2, 8, which is similar to the address of a function. Let's now look at the pointer to pointer. Pointer to pointer is nothing but a pointer variable holds the address of another pointer variable. For example, first we have declared the integer pointer variable p and in the second declaration we have ptr which holds the address of another integer pointer variable p. Let's understand better by looking at the diagram. So here variable a is holding a value 5 at the address 2009 and the pointer variable p is holding the address of a variable a. Another pointer variable ptr is holding the address 2000 of the integer pointer variable p. Hope you got a clear idea of how pointer to pointer in C works. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the pointers in C. I hope the session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.